Good morning, Mount Notre Dame High School, Mrs. Lee's class. This is Father Ethan Moore reporting live here, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Looking out my window here, still got some snowfall. You see that? Oh, that's my mom and dad. When I was a basketball player, Michael Jordan and I had the same number. No big deal. We're kind of bros, you know. Hey, I'm here this morning to talk to you about the gift of the priesthood. Of course, ordination to the priesthood or the sacrament of holy orders is one of the seven sacraments of our church. And it is something that I am super fortunate and feel unbelievably blessed to live out as my calling in this life. I've been ordained a priest for five years and every year has been a wild ride of an adventure. You know, when I was in my freshman year at college, I remember going around in a psychology class and our professor asked each student what it was that we dreamed about doing when we were a little kid. What it was that we thought that we would spend our lives living as like, that thing which made us most come alive. And everyone was actually, for the most part, saying the major that they had chosen. And I remember it came around to me and um, I was asked that question and I said, well, my dream job was to be Top Gun. It's like an old schmoldy movie now starring Tom Cruise where he was this uh, naval fighter pilot a danger zone, take me right into the danger zone. Anyways, that uh, more or less summarizes the movie right there. <laughs> no, but actually this character, besides playing beach volleyball and flying airplanes, he also rode a motorcycle and just like basically was a hero and uh, was sweet. And I was like, yeah, hello, that's what I want to do. And it's like, um, then why are you in this class right now, <laughs> which was a very valid question. And uh, I bring that up because maybe you're even thinking right now about your life and like what you dream about, what you imagine yourself doing for uh, your future and how you desire for that to be an adventure. Now, after that class and now like years later, Funny enough, I actually see that like God planted that seed in my heart of wanting that adventure to life in order that it might be fulfilled in this vocation. That even in my first year of being a priest, um, besides uh, actually having a motorcycle and starting a biker gang, stay tuned, you can hear more about that. But uh, also almost had this opportunity to fly in a Blue Angel plane at the Dayton Air Show, crazy things. But that was just minimal in comparison to the wild ride that was being able to serve God's people in his holy church and to accompany individuals in their life of faith, in their challenges and needs and offer my own vocation, my fatherhood, my spiritual fatherhood to them in a holy way. And uh, it was so cool, and it still is. And every day is that wild ride um, of the danger zone. Uh, you know, I think it's important to see that vocation, that word, there's two ways of understanding it. Uh, the Latin phrase or word that kind of comes from, that it comes from, its roots are in, is this uh, word vocare, which means to call, to have like a calling, like not just like bring, 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 but actually like uh, to feel a movement over one's life that leads in a direction. And that that isn't initiated by our own imposing of it, but rather from a higher, a higher voice. And that's the other part of the word vocation that is real, and that's vox. It is the word voice, which means that we're spoken into. Uh, and that can be from like parents, that can be from teachers and coaches and mentors that say, you would be really good at this, or I really see you excelling in this. And that's an incredible gift to have insight from others, to hear their voice. There's also the voice of God, 
God speaks in a manner uh, that we can hear. And that that voice, although sometimes maybe quiet, means something to us uh, that we should be attentive to because ultimately our peace in this life comes from following God and his, uh, his way of leading us through his voice. So the gift of holy orders, the priesthood, where that's led me to, hold on, let me get my coffee here. No big. Anyway, <laughs> where that has led my life to is ultimately a call um, to bring joy through sacrifice. You know, uh, I just got off the phone a couple days ago. You, you'll probably think this is crazy of a, a student that I knew when she, well, I guess when she was in high school and then through college. But her family was the people that like came to every church thing. They not only came to every church thing, but they would like bring brownies as they came to every church thing. So naturally I love them and wanted to spend all my time with them. But uh, what's wild is they had at the time 12 children, just a dozen, you know, your standard, um, yeah, dieze doce, I think that's Spanish. Anyways, well, I called her because she told me she's engaged and um, she said that her mom right now is pregnant with number 15. What? I was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. That's amazing. Uh, now, you might be like, that, forget that. Like, what the, are you kidding me? And not to say that every family or every, uh, yeah, woman, every mother is called certainly to that level of uh, bringing new life. But what I will say is that like we hear that, at least I do, and I see the beauty and the generosity to be open to what the sacrifice that God calls us to. That uh, every day the Lord invites us to a place of, as he says in the scriptures, to lay down our lives for one's friends or one's family, certainly for one's vocation that this is actually the greatest way of love. And when we live that way of love, uh, not only do we come alive, but we also offer new life to others. And that is um, the gift of the vocation of the priesthood, that to be in persona Christi, uh, to be in the person of Jesus Christ, every day I am consciously aware of my opportunity to speak like Jesus, to act like Jesus, to rap like Jesus, to party like Jesus, to dance like Jesus, to, you know, yeah, just live it up like Jesus. And I think that is true to every one of us in our own vocation, even now as a student and dealing with last things of the semester and uh, things in life as they are right now for you that God has a calling for you, that he wants you to hear his voice, and that he has a purpose for today and for each day of your life. So I pray for you. Uh, please pray for me as we do our work to follow the Lord, um, to know him in his sacraments, these intimate touch points boop, on earth, um, and... Uh, experience his glory in all the love that it is. God bless you. Know that you matter. I look forward to seeing you here soon. Peace.